what's up, what's up, what's good? I hope you all been doing good. Welcome back to the recording channel. And today we'll be continuing with episode 4. We'll be starting with episode 4. Yeah, so yeah, let's jump back into the game. That looks like Scooter. <laughs> My back hurts so much, dude. I need a new chance. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discover the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation the Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion past. Enjoy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh volcanoes. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Maybe it's Felix. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Mm. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? <laughs> That's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both. I seriously doubt that. Don't do anything. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. On the three. One. Two. I'm staying put. Three. <laughs> Go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. Ah! What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. What's that? Uh, this again. 
Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. <laughs> yeah, that, that was probably very heavy. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up! <laughs> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you, so she had everything to do with this. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. Huh. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is... What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters... <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Oh, no, What's I could have just said yes. Not? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone! Stop! Yes, whatever you want! Please! Just, just leave her alone. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. Where's one? One ran away. This end, right? Dude, okay. we have a load of one. not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get through. Hey, we okay, to, come we'll on. Find a rocket booster. I know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, 
and steal Gordis's bulb beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we How's can How's your tum-tum some tum there, buddy? That'll toy. teach you to hit the taco I truck. Right now, I see how that's gonna wow, happen. you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So many things Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill <laughs> down on every aspect I hope of the you, mission. You help me, but you're so constant shit-talking. I'm not the one forcing anybody. us to go on a suicide mission. Oh, Reese, you see, you just so sadly mistaken. Great. It's helping me pass the time inside your stupid little tiny wallet head. The reality is that wait, you wait, don't have a choice. Wallet that head. I like that. Wallet head, head, wallet head. You don't think That's I know stuff. that? Then maybe try coming up with a few All right, solutions. Okay, I know we've okay, had our differences. And I'll admit I can get you pretty grouchy when I don't that. get my own way. Fine. But What's your to solution? maximize our chances, uh, I'm ready to bury know. the hatchet. But I know right. you have to do this one way It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Which is a real bitch. I tell you what. You know. I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will ya? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I seriously talk too much, Reese? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and no one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there. And it's a mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get huh. that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. <laughs> uh, if I may, I have uh, some info. I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the huh. beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed some location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. <laughs> that whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one yeah, reason why true. you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> I mean, we have a friend. <laughs> we have a friend. Ooh, the Jack experience. I can't get you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign we have me a friend up. out there, right? What I don't know how we're going to get through you this. Bet. Teamwork. Good, That's right? how. Yeah. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Scooter. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. <laughs> At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. <laughs> yes, that is definitely how you hack. <laughs> I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Huh. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. 
Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you going to pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Dude. <laughs> and for the grand finale... <laughs> oh, did you struck the vast skies? Reese gets. Jack, he's a Reese. He's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Uh, we gotta come clean. Don't tell him, princess! I'm we'll sabotage him. the whole freaking mission! No, I'm telling. I'm telling. It just came out of nowhere. Don't Jackson do it! <laughs> You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team. Um, Prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. Ah, oh, but... Damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Hey, when I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've I've got everything under control. <laughs> what? You had what? that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time, and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. <laughs> anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So wait, when you fell off that balcony back there, that was Jack? <sighs> and here I... Thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but uh, I told you so. It's better to come clean. Oh, up. good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess. I'm sorry, all right. I should have mentioned it earlier. Mm. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just say, for argument's sake. That you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag, and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. Okay. So far, so good. I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again, how can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. This might sound nuts, but I can control him. He doesn't have the power to hurt us, even if he wanted to. If who wanted to what? All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spaced. <laughs> Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. Oh, <laughs> I like you so much! <laughs> hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Cause he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. <laughs> that Don't is true. be angry. Uh, I mean, we can give it, give the money back. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Huh. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> ha! Yes, I live and breathe the fried Fiona. Looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no. Great to see not you like too, you're dude. a fast woman or oh shoot. Scooter! Great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just 
Go on. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog. Somebody whacked a few times with the tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No. We need, well, not we that need, I'm saying I wouldn't going need to space. You. Scooter, we are going to space. What? I love spice! It's like my fourth favorite thing! Behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact! What? That all sounds great! Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! <laughs> oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Jamie! This is, yeah. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Mm. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. Janie, I'm sorry about Athena, but we'd really like your help. Well, I'd like my girlfriend back. Looks to be a rough day for everybody. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Oh, that's a good Why thing did we she told her to tell it through, huh? I need to know. I know she, was... she wasn't on a delivery job. She was training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. She I've was never saving seen anyone me. so much as lay a finger on her. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two vault hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> yeah, she needs she is. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them. What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got. I just to... want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her? Huh. The way she acted. Just say... Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She says she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm gonna grab every gun I can carry, I'm gonna drive out of here, I'm gonna rescue my girlfriend, and I'm gonna marry the piss out of her. Heck yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo. But beyond that, you want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into spice and all that, catch a it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all <laughs> say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, spice buddies! <laughs> hey. I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. 
Yeah, Drink. yes. Fine. No, I wanted to say yes, but I was looking down on my phone. <laughs> so I think... Okay, I think I'll end the episode there. I was waiting for the intro, but I don't think there is one. Because usually it comes in the first 20 minutes. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you're new, you know, do consider subscribing. Bye-bye.